I'm going to make a quick screen recording on how you can set up and scan QR codes and NFC tags in Therms. So I'm going to log into my demo account here. Now QR codes are specific to a location. So if I select locations and I pick one of my properties, I'll say uh, carriage lane HOA. Um, under the info tab, uh, you'll see contacts, files, and map, and there should be QR codes right here. So if you don't see QR codes underneath the location that you want to set them up for, you'll go into edit, you'll scroll down to the sub modules, you'll select QR codes and hit save. Now under the info tab, we have the QR codes tab and I can scan a QR code or add a QR code. So because I'm on a desktop browser, um, I can't actually scan a QR code. Um, that's intended to be used for um, a mobile web application. So if you're an administrator and you're actually um, on a mobile web app and you want to scan a QR code, you can do that. So for now, I'm going to select add QR and I'm going to give this one a name. I'm going to say front door number one and I'll give it a description left side of front door. Um, you can optionally pick on a map where it is. So if I dra drag this map icon, I'm going to put it over here. I'm assuming that's the left side of the front door. Um, actually, the leasing office is here. So if I zoom in, um, I know this is the leasing office front door right here. So that's um, if a security officer is walking around the property and he's wondering where this um, QR code is, he can pull it up on a map. So I'm going to save this. Now I've created one QR code. Um, and I'll create one more and I'll say um, rear door and on the emergency exit door bottom left frame. I am not going to pick a map location for this one. I'm just going to hit save. So now I have these two QR codes. Um, yeah, obviously you would want to print them up so I can say print and I can pick what size I want them to print on a sheet or you can print them individually. I can select print here um, to print just an individual one. That's up to you. So you're going to want to print those, probably laminate them and install them on one of your properties. Now, uh, the important part is setting this up so you can actually scan it and report. So if I go in and I create a new report here, um, my report that I'm use is a DAR. Um, you may have a location report or they may be named um, differently for your, for your operations. So for now, I'm just going to go DAR. I'm going to use auto date. Notice I'm not going to select a location right here. I'm just going to hit next. I'm going to create a report and the reason why I didn't select a location is because I want to demonstrate um, the fact that you cannot scan a QR code here. So um, when I do have a location selected for a report, I'll go up here and edit this now. So I will change this to um, Clark Pacific or Carriage Lane HOA is where we just set them up. And when I save this, I now have tasks and scanning QR. Those are specific to carriage lane HOA. So uh, that's how you set them up. You can't just blatantly scan a QR code anywhere. It has to be a scan and a report that's specific to the location. Um, so if I was on a, a mobile app, I would hit the scan button and I would be able to walk around the property and scan QR codes. Now, occasionally a security officer might uh, have multiple properties open. Say he's a patrol officer and he's going between five or eight, nine properties throughout the night and he's scanning QR codes. Uh, the, if he does hit scan on a report for a location and he scans an incorrect QR code for a different location, the app will actually let him know that he scanned a QR code for a different property um, and it's not recognized for this report. So the reason this exists is is because we don't want your security officers adding QR code scans to report for the incorrect location. Um, it will mess things up and just create confusion. So you can only scan a QR code uh, for a location um, on a report that has QR code set up. So if I, again, if I go in here and I select QR codes, that's my list. Um, I hope this has helped some of you guys out. Um, feel free to give us a shout. Uh, or an email support at therms.io if you have any questions.